Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the 80, 80 full art lands. And there's a video, and in, in that video you can read the comments where everyone tells me, oh, they're not going to do it for Fat Pack. I heard from so-and-so. And that's all. That's another video all itself, like how gossip gets started in our community. Uh, it's very interesting because if you go to that post, every other comment is somebody citing a source which says that full art lands are not in fat packs and they did never link to source but they kept saying oh i heard this i heard this but 80 full art lands in fat packs interesting um from an economic standpoint that means everyone has access to full art lands which i love that idea i love the idea i love it uh, i love it but a lot of people were saying oh the price is not going to hold there's going to be so much out there that's what people were saying during zendikar that's exactly what they were saying because your fat pack had 40 of them well, now you have 80, which is more, but still. Everyone's like, oh, you know, foreign lands would never get above 15 or 25 cents. That was the common perception. In trade, full art lands would always trade at four for a quarter, or four for a dollar, a quarter apiece, at most. That was your perception. The buy list was five cents a land, 10 cents a land at most, when Zendikar was out, when you could buy these fat packs and get a ton of them. Well, you know, how much are Zendikar for lands now? They are like about a dollar in trade each. So, yeah. So a lot of times when people like make a comment, they think about like today. Like I said, it's going to take three years for the full art lands, assuming they don't print any more for the next three to four years, they will retain their price. This I am certain of because that's what they said about Zendikar lands. They said, that's what they said about unglued lands. They said, oh, it's in every pack, no one's going to want them. And that's why you had a period of time that people didn't want to unglued or unhinged lands. Because no one felt they were valuable. Every pack had one. But then as time passed, you have four, five, six, eight dollars. And the foils are what? What are the foils? Like, what's that foil island worth? Eight, 80 bucks now? Like, regardless of what it's worth. And they are beautiful, by the way. Um, I love Full Art Lands. And I'm glad. I'm so glad everyone can get them now. And that makes me extremely happy. And a lot of you say, oh, I'm hoarding and stuff. And that's not, that's not the case because a lot of times I give them out. I Like the Full Art Lands from Zendikar that I have, I let all, all my local players use them. I let them borrow them. I let them keep them. I don't keep track of who has what. Occasionally, somebody will come in and be like, oh, hey, I took all these lands from you. You can have them. Like, you know, oh, not you could have them, but I'm going to return them to you. And I'm like, oh, I don't remember this. Okay, cool. And I think that makes people happy. If you're going to do a full art land and they can use them in their decks when they don't have them and they don't want to pay a dollar a piece or five or six dollars a piece for them, then make them happy. Like, seriously, like, what are you losing? Like, honestly. Um, so people who complain about that, people who complain about, like, they really don't get it, right? They don't get why I do this stuff because I want to draft with friends. I do this stuff because I want to not have to pay out of the nose later. So if I want to have a party, bring seven of my friends to the home and we each get a fat pack, I can do that without killing the bank and I charge just cost. Hey, okay, this cost me $30, let's draft. Give me $30 and here's a fat pack. Let's go, let's make a deck. Let's do sealed, whatever you want to do. So. Because I know that's the most fun part. You have, uh, very few of you guys have done this, but you have never drafted eighth edition. That is my favorite set of all time. I don't know why, but it just makes me happy. Uh, it's whiteboarded to draft with friends, have a box. The box cost me like 70 bucks. We all chip in some money. We get some pizza. We get some like chilies, whatever we're doing. And we're just drafting. We have fun. Um, and that's what magic is about. It's about community, it's about your friends. Um, but at the end of the day, like how awesome is, is, is it for you to say four, four or five years from now, hey, everyone wants a Zendikar fat pack. Hey, you have your Zendikar fat packs. Just give me like $30, $40 for it and then we're good. That's my goal. And I draft a ton with my friends, a ton of fat packs, a ton of Oda boxes. Uh, maybe I'll record some for you, but like that's really like, I still keep some of that private because it's not like, I don't know. I don't. I, it's. I like opening packs like in private. I don't know why. 
insert joke in comment section below. <laughs> Bye guys.